Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be reviewing this whole saw kit which was kindly sent to me by Jellas. So thank you for that Jellas and it was sent to me in exchange for a review video and my honest opinion. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at it. Right, so I've got my package here, Amazon package, which was sent to me by Jellas. And this is a 19 piece hole saw kit. So it comes in a plastic carry case. I'll just squeeze it a bit just to show you the kind of thickness of the plastic. Nice, nice convenient case actually. Two uh, sliding levers here to open the case up. So inside we have some instructions. So we've got an Allen key. And then we have a series of the whole saws. And they're all coated in oil to protect them from rust and dust and things like that. So we have drill bits, which have the mandrills attached to them here. And then we have an installation plate. And then the rest of the sizes. Just move that out of the way. So we've got a lot of sizes here. So that is everything that comes in the package. So here are all the hole saws that you get. So going up to the biggest one. We have a 5 inch or 127 millimeter attachment and then going down to the smallest one this one is about 19 millimeters or 3 quarters of an inch. These blades are designed for soft wood such as um, pine OSB, thin sheet materials such as uh, plywood, you know MDF hardboard things like that. Um, they're also intended for plastic, thin plastic, um, PVC and things like um, plasterboard. They're not designed for hardwoods like oak uh, and metal. So no high density thick wood and no metal sheeting. So with these it's recommended to go up to about a thousand RPM when using them and that is to minimize wear and tear on the blades and the cutting depth is around about an inch deep or 25 millimeters so why did I want a hole saw kit well I've got other bits that can do similar jobs such as Forstner bits these are really good for cutting neat holes but of course you can see here that the the size is limited and again uh, I use spade bits sometimes but these cut uh, rougher holes and again the sizes are limited uh, the, the biggest I've got is 38 mil whereas here with these hole saws they cut nice big holes in things like plastic and plasterboard and softwood so they definitely have their uses so if you don't have a hole saw kit um, I'm sure you'll find it very useful and I'm sure I'll be using this in many future projects. I'm going to assemble one of these uh, 
attachments. I'm going to go with something like this. You can imagine if you're doing a project where, for example, you want to cut into some softwood and make like a wine rack. Um, you could use kind of this kind of size for the front of the, the wine bottle to put the neck in into the wood and then the bigger part to put the body in. Just an idea. Um, I'm sure there's many uses for these. So I'll just put this together now. So we've got the drill bit which will start the hole and keep everything central. And then it's attached to what's called a mandrel. When you want to change the bit in this mandrel it has a provided allen key and there's an allen key hole here to add your own bit. So we slide this in. That will lock into place. Then we've got this installation plate. So there's two holes on the back of each um, attachment. And this installation plate has two um, pegs or pieces of metal that jut out and they will slot in and lock into place and it's just worth noting that each one of these attachments actually has the size on the back of it so you can always double check this one says 89 millimeters so then we just need to attach the nut and the nut needs to be around this way not this way because you'll have a gap and this will fill in the gap put this on and then tighten it up and when you tighten it up it's a bit confusing at first it tightens up anti-clockwise and before using these just remember to tighten up this nut with a spanner so once that's tightened up this part will attach into your drill hand drill or uh, your drill press and that is now ready to use right so now I'm gonna set this up in my drill press right then so I've got some woods here I've got some soft uh, pallet wood and a thin piece of old pine and then I've got um, a piece of one centimeter thick plywood I'm gonna start off with this uh, plywood it's about a centimeter thick and I've got the uh, drill press set up on a nice slow RPM. Right, so I've just cut through this pretty thick plywood you can see it's quite thick so it's giving it a good test um, as long as you take it nice and slowly it gets through there's the hole pretty neat hole big hole so a really good way of cutting a large hole without using a jigsaw or a bandsaw so I'm gonna have a go with um, a smaller accessory for these ones, you don't need the installation plate at the back. You just attach the nut. And uh, for both of these, I'll, I'll give them a tighten up with a spanner. So I'm going to use this one, this smaller one, on an old piece of pine. So that went really well. It went straight through that pine. This pine's about a centimetre thick. So here is the plug of wood that I've just cut out of that pine.
So let's go over a few of the examples that I've just done. Um, I did some acrylic, you can see acrylic plastic. It's the only plastic I had um, for scrap just to test. So it's quite a dense plastic. Um, it cut through that no problem at all. And then the, the plywood was the hardest. So that's pushing it a bit centimetre plywood and a sort of thicker pine. It did struggle a bit, but then again, it was with a very big um, attachment. So with the smaller ones, it probably would have been fine. But if you're gonna drill bigger holes like this, I just take it slow, don't rush it, and it will get there. Going on to uh, the pallet wood. This is quite thick pallet wood. You can see there, maybe 15 millimeters, possibly closer to two centimeters thick. Um, surprisingly, it didn't have much of a problem cutting through that. And then with this older thin pine, it's about a, just over a centimeter thick. That was uh, no problem either. As I say, just go slowly. And uh, if you're going to want a nice neat hole, see I've got some blowouts at the back here, just add something behind the wood to prevent that blowout from happening. That's not the fault of the, of the saw. So all in all, it's done the job. Okay, so that is about it for the testing. I think I put it through its paces there. You saw it go through some uh, plywood, some pallet wood and some acrylic and it did the job fairly well, just as long as you keep the RPM down on your drill and you take your time, it will get the job done just fine. So with that being said, would I recommend this product? I think to a casual DIYer and hobbyist like myself, yes I would. I would say that it's reasonably priced, it comes in a nice little carry case and it comes with an array of attachments going from small holes right up to large holes. So there's probably a hole size for practically any project that you're looking to do. So with that being said, if you would like to buy this product, I'll leave a link to the Jellas website in the description box down below. So if you liked the video, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.